niggas be asking me questions. Why I be asking niggas why the fuck you asking me questions? So many questions, I understand it now. Cause I just sat down and I thought about it and I said, damn. If I'm from the same corner another nigga from, and that nigga get up off that corner and start bringing in a hundred big ones at you motherfucker, I'm not talking about a hundred dollars nigga, I'm talking about a hundred M's nigga. A motherfucking yeah, I got a lot of questions too, right? <laughs> Supposed to have a motherfucking question, but niggas always act like they don't understand what's going on. I be telling niggas straight up, I give them the game, man, it's a gift. Here you go, baby, and you know what they do? They look at me like I'm trying to pull a fast one on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to get to you right after I used it. Once I bang them one time, I hit a lick. I'm going to let you go and go do it if you can fucking get, keep your head together enough to get yourself in the position. But, I mean, you want to play stupid, be stupid, stay stupid, stay broke. You know what I'm saying? That's my motto. You understand what I'm saying? For me, I'm going to take it in. I'm going to absorb everything that's going on and get what I can get. Ain't no school for this shit, stupid. Ain't no school for this shit. You got to be smart enough to pick up the information as you go. Now the crazy shit is niggas that look like you doing something wrong. Why do wrong? If you can find a nigga that could tell you that I own something, one nigga, find one nigga that can say, yo, that nigga 50 owe me something, or he won't call you boo-boo because he won't act like he knew me before we actually got on and shit like that. If you can find a nigga that say I own something, or my mother, I'll give him whatever you say I own, but because I can't remember a nigga doing nothing for me, nigga. Now nah, motherfuckers say you crazy, nigga call me crazy, you know I be thinking when they say that? Niggas say I'm crazy, I be thinking, yep. I was crazy enough to believe what the fuck I was saying gonna happen was gonna happen. And that's why I was persistent enough and consistent enough to exist now. You feel what I'm saying? So, later on y'all can check it out. I know that niggas be reading 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene. Now you're gonna read the 50th law. Cause I done got with Robert Greene to create the new shit for you to read, nigga. See what I'm saying, man? Yeah, Nick, come on, man. Don't play with me that shit. Out. 33 strategies of war, the art of seduction. Come on, man. All that shit come from the hood, B. It's a parallel between corporate America and the hood, and it's obvious. You see me winning, don't you? And the fucking old Thomas is looking like, yo, that young boy, he, he took a page out of my book. But they ain't make all of that fucking money off it that I made off it. So what that make me? That make me a better version of them niggas. The old school niggas. And you check out Faze magazine, Felon magazine, and fucking Don Diva and all that shit. For real, you can't really see a nigga just trying to reflect on the glory days. Baby, I had 10 bricks. Remember I had you? I bought you a gold watch, didn't I? I don't want that shit. Tell me that shit. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is just the point right here where I don't want to see a nigga who had it and don't, don't got it no more. Really, I think them books is there in order to make niggas remember that shit because they ain't ready to do that shit that they did then now you see what i'm saying so now they want to reflect on that shit so they can make the young boys feel like that they that hard or that serious so they put it in like that and then they get the young boys to do anything they ain't fucking doing nothing so explain to me like when i'm coming up niggas is like yo who want him like who he with me nigga by myself now i do what the fuck i want to do you understand what I'm saying? He's like, the young niggas love me. They love me. You know why they love me? They think like me. They feel like me. And even after I play basketball, they smell like me. Nigga, we the same. We come up the same corners. We ain't had much. You understand what I'm saying? You just got to hustle. Man. You got to go hard, man. You see they're playing games, man? The niggas got it. I'm going to get it. Trust me. I'm going to get mine. I don't know about y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? That niggas on bullshit. I'm going to shoot a nigga over. He stepped on my shoe type shit. Oh, he, he fucked the same bitch I fuck with. Yeah, then you gotta up your game so the bitch is from somewhere else. Come on, man. Real shit, man. Like, I mean, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say to niggas, man. I go to my hood and you be like, yo, what up? I be like, man, get the fuck out of here. I ain't talking to this nigga. What the fuck am I talking to this nigga for? You know what my grandfather told me? You don't get as far as the motherfuckers you talk to for no reason. You'll be successful as the motherfuckers that you talk to for no reason. What I mean is, if you spending your day talking to a nigga that ain't got nothing going on, what the fuck kind of information can he offer you? Can he help you learn something? Can he teach you something in the conversation? Leave me the fuck alone, man. Y'all niggas 